Yeah, so like he was saying, they have a lot of things planned. This government has a lot of things planned for its citizens, American citizens. All of us are American citizens, but all of our rights have been taken away and we don't even know it. We out here, it's, it's a nice day, we enjoying the sunny day, and we don't know that all kinds of plans have went on in high places to, to take away our civil liberties, our freedom, as, as we so call it. But all these things we want to let you know is Bible prophecy. The Bible said that these things was hap would happen. And we're going to bring, bring out some scriptures. Read. Second Ezra, the 16th chapter, the 17th verse. What was me? What was me? Who will deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear. So he said, who shall deliver us when these things come? When it's, when it's martial law declared. Uh, everybody know the man left, they, uh, they passed the Real ID Act in 95, and then by May 11th, all, state was, all states were supposed to comply so that every American would have to have a national ID card. A national ID card. Without this card, you're not going to be able to have a bank account to do any business to really exist in America. And every American must have it. If you don't have it, you're going to be labeled a terrorist. Why shouldn't we have it? What do you mean, why shouldn't we have it? Why shouldn't we have a national ID card? We get ready to tell you. Give me that scripture of revelation. <laughs> we get ready to tell you about the national ID card and what it actually is doing in the earth because the Bible prophesied that something would happen, something would come to pass that you wouldn't be able to buy or sell unless you had this certain mark, this certain thing to do business in America. 13 and 16, great. Revelation 13 and 16. And he calls us all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark of the name of the beast. So we'll let you know that there's something coming down in the earth that you're not going to be able to buy or sell unless you have something. So you're going to, in order to be able to make any financial transactions, see, what people don't realize, they're going to eliminate cash. It's not going to be no cash. Everything's going to be electronic. Everything's going to be monitored. And if you are compliant, Maybe they might let you function in the system, but like he read earlier. See, that's good though. Because how many people how's it, come on, how, how many people come to this country that are illegal, don't have green cards, don't have visas, don't have shit, but they work? How many people come to this country that don't have visas, green cards, or anything else, but they work for for an American's money? That's bullshit. You should have some kind of card saying you're a national citizen. Otherwise, you can't get a job. Fuck you and go home. I feel what you're saying, but we won't let you know something. See, because for one. For one, how was this land acquired? We took it over. Exactly, you took it over, right? Yes, we did. Okay, so so, do you think that was right? It was 300 years ago, it wasn't my call, man. It wasn't your call, but do you know that uh, your people are still in power? Who's my people? Who, who, who's your people, the so-called white man? Oh, it's a race thing. Well. That's not a race thing. I'm not racist. I have nothing against you. But the, the people that came over here, they came over here and, and took this land from the North American Indians, which was a race of people, right? Correct. Your ancestors. Not my ancestors. My ancestors are from Italy, man. Your ancestors are from Italy? Yeah, I immigrated here myself. Well, my your family. ancestors was the main ones that was taking everything. No, that was the English. Nah. You, know, you ever heard of Caesar Bozier? Pope Alexander VI of Rome, Constantine, all, right. all those, that's your ancestors. Cortez. 600 years ago, they ain't my ancestors. Yes, they are. That's your, you come from that bloodline. Okay. Okay, so it, it's, I'm not racist. We're just stating facts. Okay, your people went and took this land from the North American Indians, from the people down here to be against you. We're trying to let you know that right now, when, 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 um, when the Twin Towers got bombed, they used that situation to take, a, take away all your rights as an American. My life hasn't changed. It hasn't changed yet, but it's going to. Good. What do you mean good? Did you see what happened to the planes? The fucking... 
Come on, man. A million people fucking died that day. We need some kind of card that says we're a citizen. So you believe that uh, uh, Saddam Hussein uh, blew up the tower? No. Saddam Hussein didn't have anything for it. Who blew up the tower? Osama bin Laden. How you know that? Because that was more of a terrorist act. Saddam Hussein only did shit in his own country and Iran and all the local countries around him. They didn't really have that respect. Sort of how did you know? How do you know that uh, Bin Laden bombed the tower? Videos. His own videos sent him. You talking about from what you seen on the media? Yeah. Exactly. So that means you've been brainwashed like the rest of us. We've all been brainwashed. All right, I'm brainwashed, man. You are. All right. We all have been. I'm not. It's not a personal attack. It's, no, cool. They feed us. It's, everything comes from the Associated Press. It's one news source from everything, and the rich and the elite of the earth own these news sources, own the major broadcast, they own everything, and they filter the information out the way they want us to see it, because they want to keep us in a certain state. They want to keep us happy being in captivity, being slaves. You know you're a slave, right? Sure, I'm a slave. I'm, okay, whatever, man. I work for a living. Yeah, you work, you gotta work. If you don't work, you won't eat. You won't be able to pay yeah. your bills. That's right. That's called slavery. Alright? Alright. So we're out here to say, we out here, we're not, we're not racist. You know, we're not coming out, we're just talking about facts. That's facts that's real. Facts. If you go on the internet, if you do your research, you will find out that your rights have been taken away as American citizens and you don't even know it. Pretty soon they get ready to declare martial law. I don't know if everybody checked out what they did down in Louisiana. Okay, in, in Louisiana, what, what they did to those people down there, that was a test. That was a test, and that's the way to happen all over this country. And so we're going to see, a, a lot of y'all don't even know that they got the, the technology to do uh, weather warfare, that they can make hurricanes, that they can make earthquakes. They got this technology in the earth, but they, they, they got us not, we, uh, we, we think that they can predict weather patterns. They was doing cloud seed back in Vietnam, and then the UN passed the law that nobody could use weather warfare against each other in 1975. If you go on the internet, you can go and, and look at that document. So we are here to let you know, all these things that's being done to us, all these things were prophesied thousands of years ago. They said it was going to be a one world system, that would control the earth and that would cause everybody to receive a mark in their right hand on their forehead. Okay? If you look at that word mark, it means to swipe with the hand. Right now, they've got the whole system set up. All Everything that we buy from a bottle of soda, potato chips, to a Mercedes Benz is in a, an international database. If you go ring up something, it comes up on the cash register what you purchase. All the data, all the products is in there, and each one of us, American citizens, that have a social security number, don't even realize that we're a product. That's your product number. That's the number that lets you know that you, you uh, are owned.